uh, so this is going to be a, a bit of a weird video to make. But recently I've been watching a channel that I've been following for a few months. Uh, it goes by the name of Connor Pugs. And I've recently noticed a few kinks in his content that he's been producing. Now, before I say anything else, I want to make it clear. This video is in no way meant to attack Connor. Rather, point out some of the flaws in his content, at least the ones I can see, and talk about it. If, for whatever reason, you decide to go out and harass anyone mentioned in this video, you're a piece of shit and I'm not going to take you seriously. Now let's get into this bullshit. For anyone who doesn't know who Connor is, let me give you a brief rundown. Connor Pugs is a drama channel that's amassed over 165,000 subscribers, whose main focus of his content being in regards to the members of the Dream SMP and whatever Twitter drama they happen to be in that day. If you don't know what the Dream SMP is, then I recommend you go look it up. I can't be too bothered to go into detail, but I promise you, there's a plethora of videos to fill you in. When it comes to Connor's content, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty and say it's mediocre at best. Now, now I'm not gonna go and be that guy that says he needs to change his content. I mean, look at my channel. I barely upload myself. But I do believe that I'm still well within my right to criticize this content that he makes seeing that I've been following him for the last five months or so. Personally, I don't find much interest in the videos he's been making recently. And now I'm not going to be the guy that says if you make daily content, that means you're trash. I have nothing but respect for people who are dedicated to the grind to make YouTube videos every day. But at the same time, I take, yeah, I take these videos with a grain of salt when it comes to drama. Since daily content channels aren't really known for being the best when it comes to making arguments with solid structure behind them. Not to say that I'm some kind of argument guru, but I can say I'm at least able to see unnecessary videos when I see them. And unfortunately for him, some of the videos can come across as unnecessary at times. Most of the videos he's produced have revolved around him seeing one or two tweets made on Twitter by a random Twitter user talking ne negatively about a member of the Dream SMP. Connor would see these tweets and kind of blow them out of proportion. Most of the tweets he talks about, in my opinion, weren't really worth making videos about, at least full ones that is. One example is one of his most recent videos where he talks about Tommy Innit getting harassed on Twitter, when in reality it's probably just some 10 year old that told Tommy to commit Endgame on a Twitter thread which probably got buried by now in an attempt to be edgy. Another problem you could say I have is the sheer amount of videos that he's made about the Dream SMP members. I'm not saying he can't make these videos, but when it gets to the point where it's all he talks about, it kind of gets stale and repetitive. I get that once you find a video formula that works, you stick with it for as long as you can, but come on Connor, you're killing me here. Would it kill you to spice up your content just a little bit more? I wouldn't mind these type of videos if it was every three or so videos. But when it's every day, bro, this shit gets boring quick. Most of the videos he's been producing don't really have much substance behind them either. And his takes come across as dry more often than not. While I'm not saying that his channel is not worth watching, it's been becoming more stagnant as of recently, which is a real shame. I can tell that Connor is really talented as a content creator. I mean, I mean, in the space of seven months, he's gathered a dedicated following of almost 200k, which is pretty impressive. However, I feel like if he keeps on coming up with the same type of content, his channel will eventually burn out. And that's, it's not something I'd like to see. He has potential to reach 500k, but I've seen too many cases of smaller YouTubers climbing their way to fame by focusing on one topic, only to become irrelevant and forgotten when they refuse to switch up their content. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. The consistent stream of clickbait and nuanced topics that you're making ain't gonna make you go past any further than 300k in my opinion. But who am I to say? After all, I'm just some 17 year old living in their mom's attic who only has 6 subs. At the end of the day, Connor, if you're somehow seeing this, at least take something I say into consideration. I don't- you don't have to respond. Hell, you can choose to ignore it completely, but I just wanted to put my thoughts out there. If you're watching this, I truly believe that your content, to a certain degree, is enjoyable. But if you don't want to fade into being used as exclusive background noise, I think you have to make a few tweaks to your content here and there. Not change it outright, but do something to make it more engageable, you know? Well, until next time, I'm going to be eating a chocolate chip muffin and going to sleep. Peace out.